This is Seth David for SchoolofBookkeeping.com, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're going to show you how to create an American flag in Microsoft Excel. Hi, Seth David here for SchoolofBookkeeping.com, and I wanted to help celebrate the 4th of July in SchoolofBookkeeping.com fashion, which means we're going to take a patriotic concept and combine it into a spreadsheet concept. In other words, we're going to use a spreadsheet to make an American flag. Now, a lot of time and effort went into this, so pay attention carefully because those little details really matter. The first thing we want to do is create the area which includes the stars. If you look closely at an American flag, you'll see that we have five rows of six stars, and then that's 30, right? And then four rows of five stars is 20. That's how we get our 50 stars. So we need a total of nine rows. So we're going to come down here, nine rows down. Now going across, we actually need 11 columns. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we're going to shade that in a nice dark blue, just like you see on an American flag. Now I want to zoom in on this one area and focus on it very carefully. However, what I had discovered in the process of making sure I knew how to do this properly, is that we need to adjust the row heights and the column widths because as you can see right now we've got what really is a rectangle and this part of the flag needs to be a square. So after a little trial and error what I narrowed it down to was that our row heights need to be uh, a measure of 25. So let's change that. And the column widths need to be a measure of 4 for this part here. Now we've got a section that looks very much like a square. Next if we come over to the view tab we want to zoom to the selection. Notice I had selected this whole region now and zoom to the selection. We really want to get a good close-up view of this and now we're going to insert and shape and we need the five-pointed star and I'm going to use my shift key to keep the star uh, align properly so that it's uh, right sized. Let's move this over ever so slightly. And now notice while I've got the shape selected I have this format tab here that appears in Excel. We're going to go to shape fill here. We're going to make it white. We're going to go to shape outline and say no outline. I just want a star. right? Now I'm going to come over here and control C and every other column gets one here. and then of course we move that down in the second row it's alternating and then again every other column once we have the first two rows established I can copy and paste this down very easy to do and notice, Excel, notice that Excel is smart as I copy these down it positions them exactly you know in the same manner in which they were positioned in the source so to speak and then when you get down to the bottom, you'll have one last uh, instance where you're only copying the uh, top row there. So now we've got our 50 stars. We can go back to view and go back to 100% zoom here. And now I've got what looks for the most part like a, a pretty good solid square shape here. Now here's where the, the stripes part is easy. However, Here's where, in our example, it's going to break off slightly from what the traditional American flag looks like. Um, keep in mind, Excel is linear, so we're somewhat limited in terms of uh, how we can lay this out. And with a little more work, I'm sure you could get this to work perfectly. Um, so if I come out here, a few more columns, and I need a nice dark red for the red stripe. We start off with a red stripe. The second row needs to be filled in with white and you do need to use a white fill. You can't rely on the fact that it's white without a fill because the no fill option doesn't really work. This way you get rid of the uh, grid lines. Notice I'm copying and pasting. Now in the traditional American flag there should only be seven stripes getting us down to the bottom of the section where the stars are. And there, there should be 13 stripes in total. So this is where it's going, our example is going to be off a little bit from you know the actual traditional American flag but you'll see and we need some more rows here two three four five six to be exact down to row fifteen 
And again, our row heights need to be 25. You, you will see that even though this doesn't come out exactly the way the American flag is, it still comes out looking pretty good. So we have two rows here. We need four more rows. So two, four, six. And as you'll see now, I've got a pretty good square looking American flag. Again, these rows, really what would have to happen is these stars need to be condensed a little bit so that they stop here at two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is where the stars would need to be stopped. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, fix this by zooming to the selection. Zooming to the selection, and here's what we do. There's a little bit of work. We've got to control and click each star, and be careful that you're not moving the mouse while you do this. So we control click the stars so we can move them all together and they'll move together that way. And we need to move the top row down a little bit because if you look at an actual American flag the stars don't start just quite right at the top. So one row at a time we move this down we consolidate them a little bit. Let's go down to the third row. Again control click so that you can select them all together. And with a little bit of adjusting and fine-tuning you can get these stars to line up right and you can get your flag made so that it's perfect. Two, three, four, five, six, seven lines down to the end of the stars. The other six going down here. Of course since we effectively added two down here we've got to get rid of these two right in order for this to truly work right. So now two, three, four, five, six st stripes underneath the stars. We have seven alongside the stars that makes our 13 stripes to represent our 13 colonies we've got our stars they're lined up they're in a square space everything is wonderful i wish you all an extremely an absolutely fantastic fourth of july please be safe out there and don't forget to visit schoolofbookkeeping.com and check out our excel courses where we go way beyond just teaching you how to make american flags in microsoft excel as always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.